Madam President. Senator Mississippi. Ob observers of the United States Senate might uh, take note that their senators just passed a host of uh, bills and cleared a host of items from the calendar representing uh, bipartisan accomplishments on behalf of the leadership of, of uh, the Senate, uh, Republican leadership and Democratic leadership, a great deal of work by chairs and ranking members of committees and subcommittees. And I salute the, uh, both sides of the aisle, Madam President, for these accomplishments. Um, in the same vein, uh, we will vote in a few moments on a cloture motion for the judicial nomination of Christy Haskins Johnson. And uh, I would think that this would be another opportunity for a strong bipartisan vote. Uh, we passed two judges last week, as I recall, and uh, both judges were confirmed with strong bipartisan support, uh, strong support, uh, welcome support on both sides of the aisle. And I would think that with regard to this particular nominee, our uh, Mississippi candidate, Christy ha Haskins Johnson, she would uh, con continue uh, in that vein this afternoon and later on this week when I hope we'll be voting to confirm her. It, it's noteworthy that the Southern District of Mississippi has never had a woman federal judge. And so Christy Johnson will, uh, will uh, break new ground in that regard and, and uh, I'm particularly delighted that this momentous accomplishment is right upon us. She uh, has had the distinct honor for the last several months of being Mississippi's first Solicitor General. Um, and so the, this, this could turn out to be a groundbreaking year um, and uh, a, a barrier shattering year in more than one way for uh, soon to be Judge Johnson. In, in her current role as Solicitor General, she serves as Mississippi's lead advocate for appellate litigation and works closely with the state attorney general in crafting legal strategy for significant legal cases in Mississippi and on a national scale. She has received the uh, highest recommendation that a candidate for U.S. District Judge can receive from the American Bar Association, and that is a qualified rating. As we know, uh, candidates for uh, appeals court judge can get the uh, rating of highly qualified. The best you can get uh, for district judge is qualified, and so she received the highest rating she could possibly receive, and rightly so. Uh, she has a unique record of accomplishment as a public servant, a private attorney, uh, a scholar, and a professor. She served over five years in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Jackson. There she prosecuted fraud and financial crimes as part of the Civil Division. Before that, she made her mark in private practice at the firm of Ogletree, Deacons, Nash, Smoke, and Stewart in Jackson, Mississippi, focusing there on labor law and employment issues. Christy Johnson is a native of Hurley, Mississippi, population 985 in Jackson County, Mississippi. Uh, she uh, attended school there and then went on to ha receive her undergraduate degree at the University of Mississippi, graduating in 2003. And then she was admitted to law school at Mississippi College School of Law, where she graduated summa cum laude, second in her class. Um, as a law student, she served as not only on the Law Review, but as executive editor of the Mississippi College Law Review and received numerous American Jurisprudence Awards in areas such as criminal procedure, legal research, and writing and employment discrimination. So excellence all the way through, including uh, the time that she served as a clerk, both as a clerk at the district court level for um, Judge Sharon Acock, Mississippi's first female 
district court judge in the Northern District of Mississippi, and then for appeals court judge Leslie Southwick in the Fifth Circuit. She um, takes time to share her skills as a teacher and adjunct professor at her alma mater of Mississippi College School of Law. Uh, Ms. Johnson is a member of the American Ends of Court, the Federal Bar Association, and the Federalist Society, and she uh, resides in Brandon, Mississippi. In, in summary, Madam President, I'm just delighted at the fact that we're going to uh, make some news and, uh, and uh, hur uh, hurdle some uh, previously uh, existing barriers without this outstanding nominee. Uh, she has the uh, academic, judicial, and personal qualifications necessary for federal juries. I think she's gonna make a great judge. People back home in Mississippi believe this also. And it is my hope that we can invoke cloture in just a few moments in a strong bipartisan way, leading to the confirmation later on this week of Christy Haskins Johnson. Thank you, and I uh, yield the floor.